All right, this will be a fun one. They say the cabinet doesn't cool on this unit. Also, when it does cool, they say they can't get ice cream, but sometimes that just happens because when the cabinet throws its air, it shuts everything down, including the barrels, and then they think the barrels aren't working. But they also said the right side, pump will spin, but it doesn't draw. They also don't use mix out ports, so it constantly keeps shutting off on mix out. So we're kind of starting from square one. We're gonna throw some sanitizer in it. These are completely cracked and sucking air in, and that's why it won't draw. So I'm putting a new metal one in, technically for a different machine, but it'll work. Um, getting rid of these janky and put real usable dealios. Set that in. Let's put the pump cover on. We still don't have duck bills, but once the pump cover goes on, we should be able to hit pump and see if it'll draw. Still not drawing. Something going on here. This is the other machine. I'm working on that one. And they say this keeps shutting off. This side's all full of air. The port is installed completely wrong. Um, yeah. All right, I think we've got pressure pump, pressure switch issues with these. So, 60 is the new zero. This seems out of calibration. So when this gets to 90 or so, it should shut down. pressure switch all right so everything just blows out it blows out the duck bill uh, I think they have the same problem on the right side both of these barrels tested bad pressure switches which is why this one just runs and runs and runs and runs until it throws pump air and shuts itself down this one I can't get to draw this one does draw and satisfy. So I know I've got a good pump system here. Uh, it appears that this unit's just having cabinet problems. So I'm gonna sanitize this side, prime it, put it in freeze, and then I'll work on the cabinet issue and they can draw ice cream from this. I promise you, every one of those is bad. I have one good port and it's over there on a unit that has a bad pressure switch. But over here, uh, the cabinet doesn't work. So I can't grab that port, put it over here, because then I've got to pull this down to fix the cabinet. So I have bit the bullet and already sent in for the overnight. We're overnighting four mix ports and two pressure switches. They'll be here tomorrow, 10 a.m. So they're just gonna literally have to deal with this thing over pressurizing all night again which it's been doing forever so they have to get deal with that one more night and then we can fix this tomorrow all right i refuse to give up this is not the correct mix port uh this is a mix port i had from a scavenged machine this has a long straw on it i cut the straw the hose doesn't fit i made it work fired it up and she drew right up so that's just the i knew it was but that's the confirmation all the issues we're having with the pumps are in the ports Secondly, they said this machine doesn't cool down, but the barrel's working fine. It's the cabinet that's definitely sketch. So I'm gonna open up the side panel, take a look inside, because we're working on it. Um, but what, when I look at the air log, it tells me that this keeps shutting off on cabinet refrigeration cabinet temp 
so they feel like it shuts itself off and it does but it's the cabinet not the not the cream all right trying to establish what's going on with the cabinet listen we've got evaporator fans check back here oh well i got no I got no condensing unit running right now. Let me take this back panel off. But this is the condenser fan for it and it's not running. Pretty sure that little compressor is buried over there. All right, so this compressor is blazing hot. The discharge line's blazing hot and the condenser fan isn't running. So let's do a visual look. Look. There you go. There you go. Let's see if we can just cut out this Molex connector. If she fires up the fan. And it's just shutting off on high. Look. <laughs> you won't believe this. Here, hang on. Look. Get the temperature of that coil. 170 degrees. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alright, so take a look. We've cut out the burnt connection, which is here. I put my Wagos on the wires, and I put my meter in it. So that now when I set it for diagnostic mode, I tell the condenser fan, cab condenser fan on, I don't have voltage. So there's something before something before that's causing the problem. So the compressor will come on, but I can't get a condenser fan. No voltage. Let's get the schematic. I mean, there's not much interrupting from here to there. All right, real quick. So here's what's happening. Uh, I talked to tech support and confirmed because I don't like ordering boards. The uh, blue wire is 110 all the time. The orange wire is what they're breaking. They're breaking the orange wire right here in J6, and they're breaking it with that relay. So this says the cabinet compressor is running, and it is trying, and that is the condenser fan, and that's the evaporator fan. So 225 is supposed to be outputting 120 volts. It's not. So that means the relay itself is bad, so I had to order this board, it's on the way. But I also asked them, well, which relay is interrupting the compressor and it's 2.30, which is right there. You're not allowed to. What if I killed this unit, severed 2.30, cut 2.25, put them together, had them run out of there. It's just a matter of can the relay support it. About to find out. You know, I love the science. I have severed the condenser relay. Here's the compressor, labeled as compressor. And here is my condenser fan, now being powered out of my compressor relay. So, let's see what happens when we tell the cabinet compressor to run. The fan runs. Fan works, I'm wiring them suckers together. So now I'm taking that compressor wire and I'm putting it in there. And the worst thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna overload the relay. But I got a new relay board coming anyway. So knock it off. Uh, Electro Free said not to do this. Shocking, because they wanted to sell me the board, which I bought. Um, but the relay is not overheating. Like I just looked at it with the thermal, it looks fine. Our cabinet now is dropping like a rock. I need to get a zip tie and tie this up before these wires fall into the fan motor and we have fireworks. But we have compressor, we have fan, done. And so at least tonight, they'll have this barrel that'll work 100% good. Uh, this one can't because it needs a mix port. That one can't because it needs a mix port and a pressure switch. And this one needs a pressure switch. So again, they just keep coming up to it and it looks like this it's in pump error and then they have to turn it off, turn it on, press power, press freeze, every time. But this makes me very happy, right? It's just a service company says, sorry, Mr. Owner, I gotta order the part and takes into account 
not these poor men and women who are in here trying to work with one barrel out of four. Is there a way to get it working now? You know, they're literally, that little fan motor isn't pulling any more amps. That relay can handle it. You know, I could not order the board, but I ordered the board first and then said, let me get you up and running. Like, save them from their downtime. 32 degree cabinet. It's a good day. <laughs> 